I've been running consistently for about a year, however when I first started running back in lockdown I had no clue what I was doing and wished there was more videos just like this to give me some sort of guidance as a beginner runner. That's exactly why in today's video I'm going to be sharing 5 things I wish I'd known as a beginner runner to give you a much more guided and stress free experience with running as a complete beginner. So the first tip of this video might just be the most beneficial when it comes to improving and getting faster as a beginner runner because let's be fair who doesn't want to get faster and that first tip is to have a variety of different runs within your training now when I first started running I did what most beginners do and was trying to set a brand new PB on every single run I was going out on now not only is this a one-way street to injuryville but this is also one of the fastest ways to lose all of your motivation towards running instead what you actually need is variety for example let's say I'm a beginner runner who's running three times a week. I'd start the week off with an easy run on Monday and this entire run should be done at a pace where I could hold a conversation with someone whilst running. And if you don't have anyone to talk to, literally just talk to yourself. I promise you it has the same benefit. Run number two would be done on a Wednesday and this ideally would be a speed session. Now as a beginner, terms like intervals and tempos can get a little bit confusing. So in short, a speed session is designed to help improve your top end speed. There are tons of beginner speed sessions online so just pick one that you find interesting and give it a shot and see what happens. And then to end the week we'd finish with a long run on Saturday. Now I just want to make it very clear that there is no set distance for a run to be classed as a long run. If the furthest you've ever ran is 3k then running something like a 6k or a 7k is going to be your equivalent of a long run and that is completely fine. By structuring your week like this you're going to have different different sessions to try out and keep you motivated and because each session targets a different part of your running you're going to start seeing improvements so much faster than you think. Moving on to one of the hardest choices of a beginner's running journey footwear. There are quite literally thousands of different shoes all of which are tailored to different feet types, different sessions, different races it all gets a bit overwhelming. Well, not anymore. Firstly, before spending a single penny on a pair of running shoes, I'd recommend heading down to your local running shop to get your gait analyzed. Getting your gait analyzed is going to help you understand what type of runner you are and what pair of shoes is gonna benefit you most at this point in your running journey. And then in terms of shoes I'd actually recommend, you basically want to look for a pair of shoes that's going to be able to handle every single session you throw at it. Now for me, that perfect shoe is the Nike Invincible Three, which comes in at a price point of £174.99p. But as I said, these are the perfect shoes for me, which doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be the perfect shoes for you. Some other great options to look at include the On Cloud Monsters, the entire Nike Pegasus lineup, the Asics Nova Blast 4s, and even the entire Fresh Foam series from New Balance. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is do your research to find the perfect pair of shoes for you, because they quite quite literally could be the make or break for you continuing to run. I've got a question for everyone watching. How many of you actually do a proper warm up before every single one of your sessions? If you're a new runner, warm ups are going to be essential for helping you get the most out of your runs and massively reduce the chance of you getting injured. In fact, scrap that, that goes for every single runner on this planet. Now if you're stuck on what a warm up should include, remember the term ramp. Raise, activate, mobilize and potentiate. Raise is pretty self explanatory, it's the stage where you want to raise your heart rate for the exercise you're about to undertake. And the easiest way to do this is just go on a very very gentle jog. Activate is when you want to wake up all the essential muscles and joints that are required for actually running. So this will be things like our quads, our hamstrings, our calves and our ankles. Then mobilize is when you want to get all of these key areas moving by doing things like squats, calf raises, heel kicks and ankle circles. And then finally potentiate is when you want to practice all of the explosive movements found within running and you can do this by doing drills such as strides and bounding. If you do do something like this for 10 to 15 minutes before every single run, I promise your chance of getting injured will be reduced massively and your runs will actually feel easier because you're properly prepared for them. And on that note, it's about time I went on a run.
I'm gonna be really honest with you here. Running can get really boring really fast, but my next tip should hopefully be able to help with that. And the tip is to set yourself some goals for running, or better yet, enter yourself into a race. Now these goals can be as simple or as complex as you want them to be, but the one thing they absolutely need to be is realistic. The reason I say this is setting yourself goals that are actually in your capability of being achieved is going to provide you with so much more motivation than those out of reach goals. However, this definitely is not me telling you not to dream big because I have big dreams which I'll explain right now. I have a dream of running a sub three hour marathon at some point in my running journey. However, I knew this goal was out of reach for my first marathon, which is exactly why I didn't set it as my target time because it would just demotivate me massively. Instead, what I did was set a goal which is almost like a stepping stone for the bigger overarching dream, but was something that was much more achievable in the time frame and the circumstances I was in. For all of your goals, try and make them smart. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. I know it sounds corny and you've probably heard it a thousand times in your life, but the framework does work. And as a little bonus tip for you all, as soon as you've completed your goal, set yourself another one as soon as possible. Because it's amazing just how fast your motivation for a sport can dip the second you don't have anything to work towards. And that is exactly the opposite of what we're trying to achieve here. And then to end the video with my biggest tip and biggest piece of advice for anyone looking to start running, get back into running, or just stay motivated in general, do not compare yourself to others. Please, 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 please understand that running is you versus you. That's it that simple because when you understand that you'll finally understand just how amazing running can be everyone takes up running for a completely different reason and everyone is doing it to help them on their own journey i recently ran a marathon with 20,000 other runners and even though we all ran it for a completely different reason we all got the exact same medal when we crossed that finish line which means i have the exact same medal as the person who won the manchester marathon that's pretty darn special. So to end the tips in the wise words of Roosevelt, comparison is the thief of joy. Honestly, I could ramble on all day about getting started with running and the best practices for it. But in all truthfulness, you do just need to get your shoes on, get out the door and literally just start. Basically everything else can be learned and implemented afterwards. But if you don't have a desire to run and actually get out the door, then, all of the tips in this video are actually pretty useless. So on that note, if you have even the smallest inkling that you might want to go out and try running, please just go and try it and then come back to this video and let me know how you got on. That's all from me today. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing as it's completely free and you can always change your mind later. And if you're feeling extra nice, you could even leave a like on the video whilst you're down there to help this video get shown to so many more beginner runners just starting their running journey. Journey. I hope you all have an absolutely smashing day and I'll catch you all next Saturday at 6 p.m. Camera's about to overheat, video's finished, no bad days. Oh, good sneeze.